Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase. Today we are going to learn how to send the push notifications without using the Firebase server key. As you all know that the Firebase server key has been disabled. So you are not able to get the server key. So how we are sending the push notifications in the Firebase now? So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. If you put the comments in the video, the definitely I will showcase about the code okay so basically I'm going to teach you here like how to send the push notification with the new firebase okay without the server key let's get started so first of all you have to create the project that is the basic scenario so if you haven't created the project so please make sure you have to create the project in the cloud messaging here you can see that the cloud messaging API legacy disabled so I have already uploaded the videos regarding this one so you have to go and check out my firebase playlist if I go and check my technical resume profile so here you can see and already I have uploaded the playlist so here there is a playlist for the firebase so these are the you can see new firebase push notifications you have to see all the videos you will get to know about that one okay so next here you can see that you are not able to do that because here if you go and check over here that it says something error which is server key is already stopped right you are not able to use it so how we are going to send the push notifications now so with the help of sender id no so we are using the firebase cloud messaging api to send the push notifications but how it would be okay so now the concept is that the firebase announced the access token okay in the authorization you have to send the author access token right let me show you the other postman so this is the new url so where you have to add the project id right so let's have a look of that one so this is our fcm project testing okay so this is our project id that you have to send this is my project id here you can see that and also in the journal you will get the project id journal this is your project id so copy and paste it over this and replace it so the new api would be this one with v1 projects with your project id slash project id slash messages colon sent and in the headers you have to pass the authorization with bearer token make sure you have to generate the bearer token then how i how we are going to generate this bearer token i let you know and this is your body request okay to send the push notifications let me open the web push notifications where i get the token and see you how to send the notifications so let me open my previous next year's project already i have built in so next i think this is the project let me check i suppose it would be yes let me just open this project and send the push notification that you will get to know about that the postman request is working so here we go with the nvm use node 20 because i need the token uh, to send the push notifications so i will just put npm run dev so here copy the link i'm going to paste it here so the token i received right just copy this token and i'm going to paste it in our this i think it's the same one okay now we are going to generate the bearer token how we are going to generate it so this is my node.js code to generate the access token for the full code you need to write me down in the comment section maximum number of comments will help me to sh to showcase the code to how to generate the access token right so let me go to the terminal and let's che check this one so if here i will use this one so let me go with terminal <coughs> okay so nvm use node 20 okay and uh, let's run node access token so here we go with the, we haven't console dot log this token right so let's log this token dot access token just copy and console dot log 
the access token let's run now and here you can see that we receive the access token now I'm going to copy this and paste it over here in my postman request and let's add this okay so this is a token that we have generated let's try to send the notifications to this tab because here we have to receive the notifications okay so let me minimize the tab or the postman tab also so here you can see both of them okay so in the body we have already defined this one let me just scroll down this so body we require the token the notification the body and the title okay hey technical Rajni can't okay now we are going to send this one so let me just send this let me scroll this okay it's let me just drag this okay let's try to send it and here the pop-up will come and uh, here you can see technical Rajni here you can see that the hey technical Rajni so the push notifications is now with the help of this will workable okay here you can see you can send notifications received this is firebase web push notification same you will do with the android same you will do with the ios to get to know about the ss token you have to put the comments maximum number of comments will help me to how to generate this ss token with the help of the node.js or another method i have already that is a python okay so those who want just write me down in the comment section Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.